welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah, Boogie's he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill, Big Tyler Glasnow. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Deal two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Going to now. Good oh eye right God. there. It's a good take. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing. Just went around too far. And you're here with the umpire. Maybe missed it. And they bail you out. And now, Ellie De La Cruz. One out, base is empty. The next well, pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. The Reds signed Ellie in 2018, but it took a few years for him to stand out in their minor league system. One ball, in 2021, he went from an unranked prospect to a player on a fast track to the majors. Three. Few scouts out there believe a growth spurt helped change Ellie's entire career. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Got in. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And one, two, three, go the Reds. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Today's starting pitcher, Nick Lodolo. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And Betts is gone. And a quick out number one. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Will Smith. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Batting third. Here the comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Freddie. Freeman. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. We refer to third base as the hot corner, but that one was a hot one on the other side of the diamond. Nice job quickly leaving the ground, makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. The pitch just missed. With Glass down pitching today, I think about how intimidating it must be to face this guy. He's not just a tall pitcher, he's a six foot eight flamethrower, and that's not a comfortable experience for any lineup. The one two. Three. Got him swinging. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Which is in there. Going along. Glass now in his seventh season. 
30 years old now, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Next oh, pitch is downstairs. Gary Simmons has the plate duty of this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, he can come in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Mike Ford at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. And that's in for a strike. And there's a ball. One ball, two strikes, it down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Reds down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's off the mark. Ball one. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That is good. And now it's that Max Muncy. Max Muncy. The other way makes the grab one away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Teoscar Hernandez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Man at first, one away. Swing and a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Two on, one out. Just no. missed. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Runners at first and second with one gone. Bottom half of inning number two. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And here it comes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using no the entire here. field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So first and second with two outs. Andy Pajas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Smith, the lead runner out at second. Hernandez on at first with two down. Left field. Steer moving under this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. half of the third inning. Now it's the Reds DH. Stewart Fairchild. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't That's chase that time. In the air, center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Nope. Right on top of it. Will Benson, the batter now, as he holds up his swing for ball one. That hey. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Top of the third, no score. Yeah. That big swing and a miss. Now we have the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here. You've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Struck him out looking. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success. We're trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. So the lineup flips over, and now Jonathan India, Muncie. The throw to first, and that'll do it. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The wind of the pitch. Inside nope. just that. missed. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And it's caught for the out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Betts, batting with one down, takes a strike. Don't impress that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the, the bat expands. And he'll two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Line drive base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's Shohei Otani. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. You can never say enough about Otani. In 2023, he became the first player in AL NL history to hit 40 plus home runs and record more than 10 wins in a season. Ground ball right side. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Fires over to first. And that's the third out. So the Dodgers leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in L.A., onto the fourth. And now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. Swings through that one for strike one. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. Glass now, ready to deals. Got it. Another strikeout for Glass now. Wow, that's a tough ball for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And here is Spencer Steer. That's down and in. Down, base is empty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Smith gathers, throws, in time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching and thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Stevenson, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. No ball, two strikes. And down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. 
Reds go down quietly and we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four and now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. The lefty fires. Down the line. And that drops foul. Here comes a pitch. Fall off foul. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. And keep that leadoff man off first base. Max Muncy at the dish. Whoa, that, out. that just misses. And that's ball one. Well struck. Deep right field. Went back. And out of here. That should get the dugout going. Home run number 10 on the year. And the Dodgers have the lead. It's 2-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. You see how he stays square to the plate. He takes a breaking ball that's away, gets around it, gets it up in the air, and hits a long home run. Not exactly the way that you teach it in the cave, but you'll take the result. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And he's already singled in this game. That one fouled off. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Up the middle. Oh, a great grab on the dive from his backside. Oh. And that's a great play for the out. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down, throws from the seat of his pants, and just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. Ford steps on first for the out. So two down now, and here is Andy Pajes. Fly to left his first time. Hit. And that keeps the inning going. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position as you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. And now it's Gavin Lux. Hey. There's the strike. 0 oh 1. The Dodgers going with a pinch hitter, Miguel Rojas. A runner on first with two gone for him. And a pinch. Foul ball there. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Line drive, base hit. Throw in hooks the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And now it's Mookie Betts. Ripped to short. Sends it to Ford, and Betts is set down. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. That funky Muncie with the homer for L.A. And it's two zip, Dodgers. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Staying in the game on defense, Miguel Rojas. He entered the game to pinch hit and now man second base. So digging in. In Jamer Candelario. His first at bat was a strikeout. 
That one finds the corner. It's 0-1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And it's even up. Well, these Reds, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, Three. but it just hasn't happened for you. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird at-bat right there. Didn't give much to hit till the final pitch, and he still got the backwards K. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him, and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, Boog. Four, batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That one down the line. Zips it across. And a couple of quick outs. Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, just misses. That clips the corner. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. As this one sized up, and makes the play, and that's out number three. So they... Back here at Chavez Ravine, John Chavez with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Shohei Otani. Strike one. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. Full extension makes the catch. The first Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Freddy. Dodgers. Freeman. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Freeman in his 14th season, 34-year-old vet, and he was a second-round pick back in 2007. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. There's one. Ow. And that's two. No runs. Top of the sixth inning. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. And the right hitter back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. At the belt and finals. And another ball. Struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Next for Cincinnati, Will Benson. And that is in for a strike. Oh, one, one. Right Ground ball right side. And Freeman, the gold glover, makes the play. He takes it on his own. And that quickly, two away. Jonathan Indy at the play. All one ball. there. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. And now, Ellie De La Cruz, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Comes up empty, that's strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six. Bottom of the six. Here's the third baseman, Max Muncy. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swing 
and a miss, and that's strike two. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Buck Farmer preparing to come on if needed. Cruz getting loose as well. Foul ball still 0-2. Tapped softly on the ground. Ford. He handles it Got himself. It. One up, one down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Now this is in the air down the line. Towards the line. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. To the right side, India. That's the third out, inning over. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We go to the top of the seventh. J.P. Fireeyes on the pitch here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Falls it in for the out. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Little chopper rolls foul. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back nope. in this ball game if you're not careful. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now it's the right fielder, Jamer Candelario. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. And the pitch. Good that's chase it. that time. Two balls, one strike. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it's stay. Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Slams into the wall and hangs on. Oh, man. We're now back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Buck Farmer. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And it's fouled away. A wind in the pitch. This to center field. Benson calls it in, and there's one away. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Foul ball. <laughs> On the ground, out to short. That's it. Oh. Out. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie now. Out there to center, drifts towards it, makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. The and it'll bring up. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Alex Messia. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And that one is lifted in the air. Pajas makes the catch, and there's one ball. And next is the designated hitter, Stuart Fairchild. That's in there. That's strike one. Messia, in his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. 
fly ball center field Outman pulls it down and he makes the catch two away down Santiago Espinal the next to hit for the Reds out to center Outman drifts towards it makes the grab and that'll do it back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Brent Suter and they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up I think it's a good move I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me now the 0 one Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Cruz. One. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Line drive and that's a base hit out of the center field. The batter now will be Will Smith. Lifted in the air out to left. Steer makes the grab on the run. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. And at first, here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. He's already homered here in this one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Freeman leads off first with two down to the inning. Stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. So up next, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez with a high fly ball deep to left. And it one hops the wall. One run is in, and he's got a double. The relay throw, and he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. And welcome back to the ball. We go to the ninth. Here's the center fielder, Will Benson. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. In the air, left side. Pahes should have this one. Nabs it, and there's one down. The Digging in, Jonathan India. India, one for three. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Oh, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. And there's two down. So they're down to their final. <laughs> Nabil Prismat taking over on the mound. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, and the count one and one. The Reds down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
and that'll do it. Rodolfo's first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. A shutout in this one. Three nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Here now is our final line for tonight.